Well, hi everybody. Well, today I'm making something in honor of an Italian opera I did back in 1981 called Tosca. It was done by the Mammoth Lyric Opera Company. It was done at the Paramount Theater in Asbury Park. Well, in honor of Tosca, I'm making something Italian today, spaghetti and meatballs and sausage. I like to use sweet sausage. We're going to use the breadcrumbs. I'm out of breadcrumbs camera later. We have to buy more. I'm going to add this Italian seasoning into it. Make it really delicious. Oh, it's going to be good. Garlic powder. Sometimes you even better use a garlic clove. Depends on what you have in your house. Oregano. A little bit of salt. And a dash of pepper. Okay, there we go. One egg. And what I like to do, is I don't like to put more meat into a saucepan. I like to cook the, egg, the eggs. All right, folks, and a little bit of milk. I like to cook the meatballs in the oven for about 15 minutes until they really get brown, and then put it in. It gets done a lot faster. A long time ago, I remember, I would put it in a saucepan, get this mushed together, and then we're going to form little meatballs. My daughter likes smaller meatballs. Everybody has their own preference. Some people like it big, some people like them small. I will go for medium ones, but I'm going to make small meatballs. Okay. I'm hoping in a week or so we can make Swedish meatballs. That would be really yummy. Meatballs for 15 minutes. We want them nice and golden brown. And then we're going to have a really delicious Italian meal to honor Tosca. And operated back in 1981. It was a lot of fun. The woman's name is Madame Tignoli. And she was just great. Very talented uh, director. To season it. Oh my gosh, folks. With garlic powder and a little bit of salt. And we're going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes until they're, until they're nice and brown, and then we're going to the next step. All right, we're putting the meatballs. Now, as you can see, they're brown. So they're just about cooked through. But it's, it's a lot more attractive, and you don't want to put raw meat into sauce anyway. You never know. So it's always good to put it into the oven before you cook it, before you uh, serve it. Okay. Now, let's get this out. They're nice and firm meatballs. Like I said, I like to make Italian meatballs, Italian meatballs, Swedish meatballs, hopefully sometime in a week or so. Okay. This is like I said, I did an opera called Tosca, which is all part of theater. Like I always said, when you do theater, you have to do everything. And I had to learn Italian, so I, I think I vaguely remember she uh, had somebody come in and completely taught us to speak Italian. It really was a wonderful experience. Okay, we'll put this in here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some garlic on here and then we're going to add the rest of the sauce in. Oregano. And we're going to put more Italian stuff on top. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add... Okay. Try to get this over. I can get it up with my hands if we see. Okay. Now what we're going to do on the top is put the rest of the sauce. We're going to cover these meatballs up. So none of them show. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of water in here. Here we go, just a little bit. Here we go, just a little bit of water. We'll put more garlic on top, salt, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of oregano. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook this about maybe, I would say about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, now what I want to tell you is as it's cooking, Add a little bit of sugar in it. It's very good when you make a good spaghetti and meatball dish. My grandmother best swore by that also. It's out of my mom. Who's a gong? And here we have a delicious classic spaghetti and meatball and sausage meal in honor of Tosca. Like I said, my father's family was Italian on one side and Russian on the other. And I sure Grandma Bessie, I'm not sure maybe made her own noodles, we don't even know. But it was really good. I'm going to salt the pasta because it make, it gives the pasta a little flavor when you salt it, you know. Now we're going to put on these meatballs. It's really delicious. Always put that sugar in because the sugar is what gives it, gets, it gives it that, it gets rid of that tang taste. You don't want to have something like, you know, sweetish, you know, I mean, tomato -y, you know. And here we have it. Now I'm going to put on a little Parmesan cheese. Okay. And this is in honor of Tosca, an opera I did back in 1981, where I had a lot of Italian. And, you know, it was a fun opera from Deborah Tom Country Kitchen. Have a great day, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.